Hi, I'm Maimon. Welcome back to my gardening series videos on updates for my mom's garden. And today we're not starting in my mom's garden. We're actually starting in front of my mom's double knockout roses. Behind me, uh, we have these pink double knockout rose bushes. And actually in my previous video, I talked about these bushes and how we had a plan for them. Because before what would happen is the flowers would only pop out on the top. So what my dad did was, uh, I mentioned this in my previous video, he, he cut sort of a slant on the top of the bushes so that it would grow throughout the entire bush. And as you can see right now, it looks wonderful. So, let's take a look here. And if you take a look at my other videos with the knockout bushes, you might see that there's a significant difference between, yeah, especially the fronts of the bushes uh, with how it is now. Now the, act, the fronts of the bushes get more sunlight and therefore they can actually flower. So, as we walk to the back, uh, I haven't been able to do a lot of videos recently. Uh, and I think the last time we did a series update was on... Oh, hey Bella. Hey baby. We'll take you out later, okay? The last time I did a video on update in my mom's garden was, I think, on June 2nd. This week is the week of June 10th, so it's the second week of June. So, the reason I haven't been able to get to it is because I still have school, actually. And um, it's the final project week, so I still have to get a lot of final projects done uh, this week. And also recently, uh, a very close family friend of ours uh, passed away. God bless his soul. So we haven't been able to get a lot of work done in the yard. But for now, let's get back to the update. And in the front here, you can see there's a lot of difference between uh, last week, especially with the growing. Uh, in, in front here, you have these roses. They've actually bloomed and they look really pretty. And in the back there, the wildflowers are also growing pretty well. Those aren't roses, I'm pretty sure. Down here, you can see that our strawberries are actually fruiting. So we have these green ones here. We have these red ones over here. The thing is, these, these strawberries, they, are, they actually aren't sweet. They're, they actually aren't <laughs> that good for eating. We pretty much grow them for ornamental reasons. We actually move them all the way over from that um, pathway in the back there, over here, so, so it looks nice. And it's also for the birds too, because they like to eat the strawberries. So over here, my dad has updated the gate to the mom, my mom's garden. I guess this entire backyard is my mom's garden. But as you can see, when I let go of it, it just swings back. Now, this was surprising to me today because it doesn't usually do that. It usually gets caught on in the back over the, in that hinge over there. But he added some sort of system. I actually mentioned it before, but he added a hinge down here to make the gate easier to open and close. Before you had to like sort of like finagle. Also he updated the um, door stop system that we had before so that it's longer. So wait. So now we should be able to go into the garden and not get hit by the gate. Now above me you can see that my dad, my mom, <laughs> we actually went to Savers yesterday and we bought this nice sign that we need. This nice welcome to paradise sign that, you know, gives a bit of a, a personality to my mom's garden. So now, uh, before we get to the plants, let's talk about this wall in the back. My dad has worked on this sort of retaining wall uh, made out of wood here. And part of it is so that he can work on repairing this fence. And another part is to build a retaining wall down here in order to protect against gophers, uh, groundhogs, pretty much any um, rodents or What's the word for them? I forgot. But these creatures that might get into the garden, and and cats, I guess. In terms of gophers, is to prevent them from eating the plants, and in terms of cats, to prevent them from pooping on the plants. And I think in terms of actual construction, that's pretty much it. Let's get to the update of the plants. All right. So as always, we're going to start over here. I go over all the names of all the plants in my previous video, so you can check them out. I'm pretty much just going to get this done quickly. Um, over here, you can see that the peppers and the like are all going very nicely. I'm pretty sure those are cucumbers or uh, eggplant. Eggplant, yes. In the back here, you can see that all... Oh! It looks like our blueberries over there are actually fruiting too, but they're not quite blue yet. Over here, we have our collard greens, our cauliflower. They're all going pretty nicely. Some more peppers. Our bok choy here is actually supposed to be harvested now. Um, which you'll see later, my mom actually harvested some other plants 
And these were supposed to be harvested too, but I think we're waiting on that. And if we don't harvest it, at least we can give it to the insects, right? Look at all these holes. Okay, so over here, we have cucumbers. So these are growing quite nicely. It looks like soon they're gonna be start climbing. Over here we have some cilantro, coriander. I think these are more bok choy. Dong song and kong kong. It looks like there's a lot of weeds in here too. Uh, I think we're we're not gonna pull them out yet so that my mom can see if there's any like plants left in that. Over here we have some more parsley. Um, I think this is bok choy again. Oh, it's bok choy. Over here we have some more leafy greens. I think this is broccoli. I might get the leafy greens confused by the way. Over here we have our trellis of beans. Oh, I forgot to mention the bean the trellises have all been secured. We've also done videos on those trellises, so go check those out. We have red white and black beans over here and my dad has just informed me I forgot to say that these are long beans over here we have some iceberg lettuce um, I forgot this one. Oh, and more broccoli I might have gotten that one confused that, that might be a uh, collard <laughs> what? Huh? What, what, what plant is this again? huh? okay this is cauliflower okay I feel bad though this is broccoli right yeah. broccoli and romaine lettuce no I, iceberg lettuce okay in the back here we have romaine lettuce and some more pepper huh this one right here is this is cauliflower mm -hmm. this is cabbage and this okay. is uh spinach with ready for the flower okay <laughs> look at this these, these two things look very similar the key difference is that they're more paler this one's more rounder. This is apparently cabbage, and this one is cauliflower. Okay, back to our last row. Over there, looks like our kale and our collards are going pretty well. Our romaine lettuce here and the peppers seem to be going really nicely. It doesn't look like there's any holes in these. I mean, not many holes, as opposed to the bok choy. So it kind of see, oh, and you can see over here, my mom already harvested one, what would you call it? A head of romaine lettuce, so head of cabbage. But she already harvested one head of romaine lettuce. So it's kind of weird that she hasn't harvested the bok choy. But hopefully, I mean, if, if the bok choy has holes in it and the cabbage and the lettuce stuff, maybe they're kind of destined for that. But we'll see. Over here, you can actually see our green beans, our long green beans are starting to uh, climb our trellises. And it looks pretty nice. I like the spiral. Hopefully when we check back on these next week, we're going to see just how much these long green beans have started to grow. Now then, let's talk about something pretty cool. So, some people have been asking uh, in, our, in our videos about the irrigation system for this new garden. Because we, I've actually done videos on this irrigation system with my brother Izami, and we've done quite a, quite a bit on it. And it's very extensive, but how are we going to change it in order to fit what we have here? Because as you can see, we've raised the beds of the garden. So actually, this entire system is modular, which means that what we can do is, uh, I'm not sure which one we set up for this, but we can actually take off the PVC piping and replace it. So what my dad can do is he can, um, I'll just take this off for example, we, he can extend the PVC piping and then put this back on and then run it back through again. So basically just like our old irrigation system, but with a bit increase in piping. So, like I said before, the modularity of the system is amazing. And the fact that my dad designed this like 10 years ago is also pretty amazing. Let's go back outside and I'm gonna mention that actually in one of my videos, someone asked about what happened to our Asian pear trees because the Asian pear trees are a prominent feature of my channel. I've done many videos on them. I've even done redundant videos on them, re recovering them. But it looks like this video is getting a bit too long, so we'll leave that for the next part. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, or comment, subscribe, look at our videos on I and Ayman. Especially check out the next part and other videos on uh, the gardening series. And I'll see you there. But for now, signing out. Peace.